the fifth charge against Donald Trump is supporting law enforcement. The charges against law enforcement officials are enforcing small ridiculous laws that do not make any sense like anti-trespassing laws like anti-loitering laws like pro event license laws like pro parking permit laws like pro business license laws like pro profession license laws like pro intellectual property laws and like pro discrimination laws the reason why law enforcement enforces those small ridiculous laws that do not make any sense is that law enforcement wants to win soul respect to win the infinite power to win the infinite glory and to win a community or a kingdom as their personal playground. To tell you the truth, I had negative experience with law enforcement when an undercover security officer at a grocery store caught me for trespassing. And it is a long story. I am sorry to offend the people, but it is the truth about law enforcement. And there are some people who are victimized by law enforcement thanks to the John Stossel episodes about this. And people in the law field cause enough damages to each community by activating ridiculous laws that do not make sense. Thus, no freedom for the pawns and thus no happiness for the pawns. The truth is that security is not security and I do not feel secure when law enforcement enforces bullying. The truth is that law enforcement officials do not protect 100% of the public and that law enforcement officials do not serve 100 percent of the public. The truth is that law enforcement officials selfishly protect the government and themselves and that law enforcement officials selfishly serve the government and themselves. Once again, why do we have to respect ridiculous, hopeless authority that leads to our self-destruction? The sixth charge against Donald Trump is intimate domain abuse. John Stossel believed that Trump was a bully because Trump 
committed intimate domain abuse to take Vera Kulkin's land to expand Trump's Atlantic City casino for private gain. But Trump rebutted against Stossel by not taking responsibility for Trump's actions. The good news was that Vera Kulkin won the case against Trump. I can imagine the future when Donald Trump becomes president or king of the United States. The game show Trump card would be on GFN so many times per a day. Every business would be monopolized by Trump. Products and services would have prices that people cannot afford. Law enforcement would enforce misery. People would be slaves to learn about business and to learn about law of every type. People would be forced to work at a Trump business. Trump and his allies would use an infinite supply of Trump cards against people in reality. If you do not understand the game show Trump card, a player who answers the question correctly may use a Trump card against one of his slash her opponents to subtract one period slash set point, thus being farther from the opponent's goal. My suggestion and John Stossel's suggestion are that people should vote a libertarian into office or into royalty so we can stop living in misery by Trump in the future. Fire Donald Trump from presidency or from royalty to make United States great. My name is Adam Branca and I am against Donald Trump and I approve this editorial.